Okay guys, so today we will be discussing shared hosting and traffic limit and how they can affect your website's performance so that you can decide which hosting plan is the right one for your website. My name is Dave with Varpex, so stick around as we dive deep into the details to help you make an informed decision. Okay, so first, what is shared hosting? Well, shared hosting is a type of web hosting where multiple websites share the same server resources. So this means that your website shares the same server as many other websites, and you have to share the server's resources, such as the CPU, so that's the processor, the RAM, so that's the memory, and the disk space as well. Now, clearly, shared hosting is a popular option for small websites or businesses with a limited budget because it's affordable, easy to set up, and it requires little technical knowledge. Now, having said that, the downside of a shared hosting is that your website's performance can be affected by the other websites on the same server. So if one website received a sudden spike in traffic, it can slow down the entire server, which affects all the websites on it, including yours. And this is why it is important to choose a trusted shared hosting provider that offers reliable server performance and support like Vorpex, for instance. Okay, so now let's talk about traffic limit. So traffic limit refers to the amount of data that is transferred between your website and its visitors. So when someone visits your website, they are essentially downloading data from your website server. So this data can include, for instance, images, text, videos, and other content. And as your website receives more visitors, the amount of data transferred increases as well, which can affect your website's performances. Now, more shared hosting providers set a limit for their users. So this means that there is a cap on the amount of data that can be transferred between your website and your visitors. And very often, if you exceed that limit, your website may be suspended or charge additional fees. And as you can see with Barpex, you don't have to worry at all because even our starter plan starts at 10 gig of bandwidth and all the other plans offer unlimited bandwidth altogether. Now clearly it is important to choose a shared hosting provider that offers a traffic limit that suits your website's need. So if your website receives a lot of traffic or you are expecting to receive a lot of traffic in the future, you may need to choose a different hosting plan that offers a higher traffic limit. And ideally, these are the things that you need to consider prior to launching your website, obviously, you know. Now, apart from the traffic limit, there are other factors to consider when choosing a shared hosting provider. So these include the amount of storage space and bandwidth that you need, the level of customer support provided, and the security features offered as well. Now, some shared hosting providers offer features like automatic backups, SSL certificate, and malware scans as well to protect your website from security threats. So in conclusion, shared hosting and traffic limit are important considerations for website owners. So shared hosting can be a cost-effective option, clearly, but it can also affect your website's performance if other websites on the same server receive high traffic. So traffic limits refer to the amount of data transferred between your website and its visitors, and it's important to choose a hosting provider that offers a traffic limit that suits your website's needs. So when choosing a shared hosting provider, make sure to consider factors like server performance, customer support, security features, and traffic limit, of course. So this will ensure that you choose a provider that can provide reliable hosting for your website. And as always, if you're looking for a stable, reliable hosting provider that can help you grow, at Verpex we provide all types of hosting plans, from shared hosting to virtual private servers right up to dedicated servers. So it doesn't matter if tomorrow you need to upscale your resources, with Verpex you'll always be in good hands. And now that we've covered shared hosting and its limitations, perhaps you'd want to find out about managed hostings. If that's the case, we'll leave that video right here.